Hey everyone, it's Olivia from ConvertKit, and in this week's Tuesday Tip video, we're going over our recommended method for creating a custom HTML email template. As you may know, there are two options for creating custom email templates in ConvertKit. You can use our Visual Template Editor, which doesn't require any coding knowledge, or you can choose to use our HTML Editor. And this one is only recommended if you're already comfortable working with HTML and CSS. So if you're one of those folks, this tutorial is for you, and we're going to go over our recommended process for this. What we recommend is actually duplicating one of our default HTML email templates and then editing it from there. This might sound a little counterintuitive, after all the point is to create your own email template, but don't worry, we're not stopping you from doing that, and you can definitely make as many customizations as you'd like. The reason we recommend starting with one of our defaults as a base is because there are a few key elements that ConvertKit email templates have to include in order to be valid and functional, and those can be easy to overlook even if you're an experienced coder. Depending on when you signed up for ConvertKit, you may or may not already have our three default HTML templates in your account. If you do, they'll be in the top row on the templates page, and you'll know that there are default ones because they actually can't be edited directly. You'd have to copy their code into a new template in order to make changes to them. If you don't have these in your account already, no worries, we've made their code and preview images available in our knowledge base, so you can just grab the code from that article instead. Either way, in order to make a new custom HTML email template, You'll want to click this button from the right sidebar of the templates page, and then select Use HTML Editor. Once you get to this page, you can give it whatever name you'd like for your own reference, and then paste in the code of whichever of our base templates you'd like best as a starting point. After that, you'll want to press Save at least once, which will reveal this Preview Layout button on the sidebar. And from here, you're free to make all the edits you'd like to the code and styling, and preview it along the way. Once you're done, don't forget to save again, and then back on the templates overview page, you can click the Use This Template button in order to set it as your default going forward. The last thing I wanted to mention is that we also have a dedicated troubleshooting guide for HTML email templates in our knowledge base to help you resolve some of the most common issues that can cause them to break. 